It is known as the Derby della Madonnina, the Derby of the Little Madonna that sits atop the cathedral here in the city. Milan against Inter, always special, live next on EA TV. And we have Derby Fair on the menu today, and we never tire of bringing you this fixture, the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me here in the commentary position is Stuart Robson. Stuart, a lot to look forward to here. Well, Derek, this is Italian football at its very best. Great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful history and a big rivalry. This should be good today. An experienced forward is a must for any side, and Olivier Giroud has bags of experience. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, he's their top marksman, but he's also a great all-round player. He just has that ability to go past defenders with such ease. Hopefully we see that again today. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Simon Kerr plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Really looking forward to this contest. And it's Milan who get things started. a great effort was it Alexis Sanchez for Milan the target is a victory after they drew the last match against Bologna how might this one go Stuart well, away from home, it was a decent result. Today, I think, will be close between two evenly matched teams, and I'm expecting a similar result. He's enjoying space. Sends it back. Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. Can Inter come up with the right answer? Intelligent run it is from Vidal. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And this is Brozovic. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Smuggled away.
Well, not giving him any breathing room. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Ivan Perisic. Can he finish? And the danger is averted. Pressing high to win the ball. What a save! Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Ivan Perisic. Lazaro. Giving the ball away. Tremendous ball played through. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Firing it towards goal. Oh, did so well to deny him. Keeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Who can they pick out? You're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. And running through to the keeper. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Martinez. Alexis Sanchez. Inter have given away possession. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Olivier Giroud. Well, visionary passing. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, a second goal for them here. What can they do to stop him running? And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Torino. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 32 minutes played.
Many thanks as ever, Alex. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. It is to be a throw-in. And this is Brozovic. Really vital interception. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Will they profit from this situation? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And a tidy tackle. Could be! Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Being pressed and pressed high. D'Ambrosio. The ball with Martinez. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And how about that for a save? And short it is. And a strong tackle. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Will it be? Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. And over it comes, and heading it just over the bar. Brozovic, good work to win it back high up the pitch. Might be a chance here. Well, here's the replay, and when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there, he has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, how can you sum up the performance of Zlatan Ibrahimovic? He's been simply superb, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And, of course, he scored a very good goal. Sends it back. Oh, not to be! So into the second half, and there can be no denying it, Inter really need to raise their game. Oh, great vision. 
Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Alexis Sanchez. Crisp tackling. Giroud. Failure to keep the ball by the Nerazzurri. Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Samu Castillejo. Ibrahimovic. And he saw the situation developing. Ibrahimovic. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Brozovic. And it's a quality pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. This attack looks highly promising. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defence. Is it going to be? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision, and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Good tackle. Martinez. Not sure of Vidal. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And he's fired over the corner. That was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Great pressure to win the ball back. Sanchez well that effort was always going wide he's not going to be best pleased with himself well with tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially well deemed to have been a cautionable offence well no question about it he deserved his book in there Castillejo and credit is due for that good piece of defending and well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack De Frey. Ivan Perisic tackling and winning the ball to boot and Milan could get in behind the defence untidy in possession Cassier, determined block. Right, goal update time. A goal has gone in in the Sassuolo game. Alex Scott. It's a goal. And he read it really well. Fine save.
And time for the change now. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Takes on the shot. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. On apologies to Alex for the interruption. Just of note, the away side have scored, and the match is level at 1-1. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Just hearing something important has happened in the Cagliari match. And Alex Scott can shed some light on that for us. Yes, another goal for Cagliari. It's now 2-1 with 73 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Nicely timed tackle. The referee knew that was foul play, but... And if you've already received a yellow card, you surely want to stay away from that sort of challenge. And intercepts again. And he's lost custody. And he's on! Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Right, a goal to update you on in the Hellas Verona game. Alex Scott, tell us more. Yeah, it's a goal for Hellas Verona. It was a nice pullback, a low-driven shot. They couldn't do anything about that one. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 80 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Brilliant piece of skill. Might really be able to trouble them here. for the same played over now well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity now keeper getting both gloves on the ball Just hearing something important has happened in the Sassuolo game. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Sassuolo. It's now 2-1 with 85 minutes played. The fans are enjoying what they're seeing here today, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. And using his body to good effect. And breaking at pace with Menace. Chance to finish. Save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Stefano Sensi. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Brozovic. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And just over the bar, really good effort. Zlatan Ibrahimovic an effective challenge Barella this is Vidal so there it is the final whistle and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri what did you think of their performance in this game? you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent 
full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Excellent challenge. 